And right now, our own Rick Fulbaum and a CBS4 crew are on the way to Havana to bring live reports and some very special stories from the island. Rick filed this report before departing. We are here at the church Our Lady of Charity, which is the patron saint of Cuba. And this is just one of many places where people are very excited about Pope Francis's upcoming trip to Cuba and the United States. And here in Miami, hundreds of people are getting set to travel to Cuba to be there. And some of them are traveling back to their homeland for the first time in 50 years. So this will be a very emotional journey for them on many different levels. Meantime, in Cuba, they're putting the finishing touches on preparations there. The cathedral in Havana being spruced up ahead of the Pope's arrival on Saturday. The Pope holds a mass in Havana's Revolutionary Square on Sunday morning. He's the third straight Pope to visit Cuba, but he'll be the first to celebrate mass there in his native language of Spanish. So that should be quite a moment. While in Cuba, Francis is expected to meet with President Raul Castro. After Havana, he'll travel to two other Cuban cities, offering his blessings and message of hope after playing a central role in the new efforts to normalize relations between the U.S. and Cuba. And CBS4 is committed to bringing you complete coverage of the Pope's trip to Cuba. Look for my live reports from Havana beginning tomorrow night on the CBS4 News at 5. In Coconut Grove, I'm Rick Fulbaum, CBS4 News.